Hey folks, in this short video, we're going to take a look at the student working document and how you submit that for assignments. So in this course, uh, in the first week, I shared with you a work at what we call the student working document. Instead of template, it will have your name right here. And as I mentioned in, in the video about this, this is where you will be composing your work, where it would be kind of pulling together the different pieces um, for many of your assignments. So your reader responses, your article analysis, selection, your reflections, um, and your other papers herein. So when it's time to do one of those assignments, and in this case, we're going to do the reader response, uh, you will come here, you will read each prompt in do the prompt as it's guiding you to go through. So in this case, set a five minute timer and respond to this prompt. Um, and so the question you're answering is this one, then you move on to the next one, then you move on to the next one. So say you've completed your reader response number one. Fantastic, yay, way to complete it. Um, the next thing you want to do is submit it. So the way that you're gonna submit it is you'll come up to share, and what you'll want to do is under get link, it should, what you're looking for it to say is anyone with this link can comment. Now, don't worry too much about that. That means somebody has to have the link in order to use it. It doesn't mean that the link is out there, you know, searchable on the internet. It's that if somebody has the link, they can use it. So once it says anyone with a link can comment, then you will copy. Right. And so this was we we're finishing reader response number one. We'll come back into the course. We'll go to reader responses. We'll go to reader response number one. And you can view the rubric. I strongly encourage you to view the rubric. You can look at the reader response uh, guidelines. Please look at those if you have not yet. And then you're just going to come here where it says text submission and write submission. And you're going to just drop the link in there. Now, if you want to really be helpful and save me an extra second or two with, with each of your submissions, I would recommend highlighting it and then selecting right here where it says insert link. And then where it says link path, just select that. And where it says target put new window, select insert. And now what you've told, when you submit this, what you've told me is for reader response number one, this is the document. It is all set and ready for me to go and take a look at. If it's good and ready to go, if there's any comments you want to pass along, like, you know, oh, you know, I, you know, I had, you know, I, I had this concern or can you double check what I said about X, whatever, that's great. Then you're just going to hit submit and done. That's all that I need for you to submit so that I can go in, take a look at it, and provide you feedback. So I'm hoping that clears up how you use the, um, the assignment document. And also, just as a point of reference while you're here, you can always go over to My Grades. And you can see that you have submitted or that I have submitted, right? So it says reader response number one. And I've got the little exc exclamation point that indicates that it has been submitted I am done with what me as the student would need to do. All right, hopefully that's useful. Let me know if you have questions.